Welcome to India Today Show South. I'm Sara Fazal. Very popularly known as Biryani Man, aka Abhishek Rabi, a Tamil Nadu based YouTuber, has been arrested by the Chennai police for his derogatory video against Semoli Park and women. Based on a complaint from women from Tainampet claiming that videos were created and uploaded by Abhishek Rabi, insulting women and demeaning the Semoli Park, where she goes for walking every day. The South Zone Cybercrime Police registered cases under IT Act, Indecent Representation of Women Prohibition Act, and the TNPHW Act and initiated an investigation. Following which 29-year-old Abhishek Rabi was arrested and sent under judicial remand. Abhishek Rabi had posted this video three months ago on Semoli Park, indirectly came claiming that the park was used by couples to perform sexual acts, which has caused him trouble. Following this, he was arrested by the Chennai Cybercrime Police today and faces charges under four sections of Violence Against Women Act and for the misuse of technology. Abhishek has also had a face-off with the famous YouTuber Irfan and others on social media. He then posted a video on YouTube yesterday alleging attempting suicide, but concerned viewers alerted his relatives, that is his mother, and his attempt was thwarted. So who is this man, Abhishek? Rabi. Now, he runs this YouTube channel by the name Biryani Man and runs an entertainment channel, 1KG Biryani, along with other YouTubers, Sibi Agnal and Aldo Xavier. He's allegedly appeared to have targeted popular YouTuber Irfan in a recent video. It's a common tactic for some YouTubers to gain fame by criticizing or defaming already well-known creators. And this often leads to clashes amongst their supporters. It seems like this YouTuber, Biryani Man, used this approach to draw attention and create controversy. What is this controversy or this dispute between Biryani Man and Irfan? So following these attention-seeking tactics, Biryani Man, Man, also known as Abhishek, has been trending. Abhishek and Irfan, another popular content creator, have been involved in a heated dispute. Irfan faced criticism after admitting he was involved in a tragic car accident last year that resulted in the death of an elderly woman. Although it was reported that Irfan was not driving at that time, Biryani Man criticized him harshly over the issue. Additionally, Biryani Man accused Irfan of being paid for positive restaurant reviews, alleging that the places Irfan promoted didn't serve quality food. In response, Irfan fired back at Abhishek, escalating the conflict between them. The Biryani Man tried to draw mileage from controversy surrounding Irfan, which included both these incidents. One was the car accident and the other was the gender reveal of his baby and criticized him severely on public platform. Biryani man is a troublemaker. Is he? That's the question. Similarly, this Tamil YouTuber has found himself posting obscene videos of a YouTuber called Taylor Akka, who posts videos on tailoring. He had posted an obscene video of her sewing blouses. Abhishek seems like a serial offender given how he has even criticized women through his videos on his YouTube channel, Biryani Man. This video is famously called as Oyo vs. Semoli Park, where he's seen speaking obscenely about women. A woman has also filed a complaint against him, and now he stands arrested by the Chennai Cybercrime Police. Why are content creators like Biryani Man ban problematic? Here is a man who, in the name of content creation, creates videos bordering obscenity, slandering, defaming, and then stages a suicide attempt on the pretext of being harassed for his content. In this three-hour suicide attempt video, he's heard speaking to his mother, who came to his rescue after she was informed by his followers regarding his act. He's heard complaining to her about being harassed by one called Jason. While he speaks morally on how incorrect it is for someone to mock him, all that he has been allegedly doing is just that to other YouTubers, creators, and general public. And now he's trying to conceal this act of his by attempting suicide. He's not even spared women, making videos on the famous Semoli Park, depicting them indecently as well. Biryani Man, also known as Abhishek, in this three-hour video is also heard telling his mom how he feels powerless, unable to do anything about the people commenting against him on his profile. Now, while his suicide attempt may raise concerns of the effects of social media on its users, it also raises questions on how regulated is social media. Can anybody in the name of being a content creator create content about anything under the sun without it being regulated? Should such content creators be verified on public platforms with a mass following when their content is influencing 
youngsters negatively is the world of social media turning dangerously unsafe violent and harrowing for those who are on, on it to create meaningful content or for those who are on the lookout for the same isn't this raising concerns of authenticity given how content creators are uh, as such like biryani man are using these public platforms to create toxic trash netizens are even claiming that committing suicide is a mistake and what he tried doing in his live video was something that is punishable and legal action must be taken against biryani man let me tell you there are several allegations against this tamil nadu based youtuber biryani man he's been controversial for creating content that includes hindu phobic remarks mocking christians and criticizing tamil nadu governor r n ravi and the bjp he is accused popular youtuber irfan of associating himself with bjp members for personal gain and also question irfan's visit to the governor suggesting hypocrisy due to alleged mistreatment of muslims in bjp rule state now the question that so south is asking should youtubers or content creators like the biryani man be allowed on public platforms to create unregulated piece of content or create unregulated content in the name of social media creation do let us know by commenting below also don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching india today so south i'm sara fazil